Hello and welcome back. It's been a while and I apologize for that. I really enjoy making these videos, but my workload as of late has been prohibitive. New year, new responsibilities, still winding down some of last year's responsibilities, so TLDR, very busy. Let's jump into it. We're going to pick up right where we left off in the last video, but before I get too deep down the rabbit hole, I do want to address a configuration element that I think I might have misspoken about in the last video. When we built our default configuration for our VQFXs, we did so without a root authentication password, which is actually consistent with all of the hardware and virtual software solutions that Juniper sells. VQFX is a bit of a unicorn in that you download it and there's a root password already set. We removed that in our default configuration, which would be totally appropriate if we were using Appstra's ZTP server. Now, in the last video, I explained why we're not doing that. There's some scripting complexity that just simply doesn't exist with the hardware solutions. We're going to be manually onboarding these boxes, and as such, they are going to require a root authentication password. The first thing we're going to do is set that password and then set the permission that will allow remote root login using SSH. This will allow the Appstra server to connect to the device and then configure what we would call an off-box agent. An Appstra agent is the intermediary between the operating system of the network device and Appstra. It's bi-directional communication, and for some platforms that Appstra supports, the agent is installed on-box, and for others, it's installed off-box. For Junos, it is currently installed off-box. No big deal, just the way it is. And we're going to get into that right now. Like I mentioned, the first thing we're going to do is set that password. I'm using Secure CRT, and I'm using this command window feature that is going to allow me to send commands to all active sessions. I've already logged, well, not logged into, but brought up the login screen for all of my lab devices. So I'll just type root down here and hit enter. This should drop me in the CLI. We'll just spot check that. Good. We'll type CLI to get in operational mode and configure to get into edit mode. Set system root authentication. No tab to complete here. Plain text password. And we're going to use Juniper with a capital J. J U N I P R. Enter. J U N I P R. Enter. Again, capital J. Now we also need to set the root login allows. Set system services SSH root dash login allow. From memory, get it right? Yes, I did. Do a commit and dash quit. Make sure that that looks good over here. We also want to confirm that we're getting an IP address from our DHCP server. Show basic terse EM0. And we're looking for something in the 10.0.20 range on all these boxes. So we'll just quickly click through. If they're getting an IP address, they're getting the right one. In the last video, we manually set the MAC address to ensure that. Looking good. So let's install our agents. Going into Appstra, maybe you're going to start from the home screen here. You would come over to Devices and go down to Agents. We're going to select Offbox Agents and click Create Offbox Agents. Put in an IP address, and we're going to use a range to save time, 11 through 10.0.20.18, comma, 10.0.20.21 through 10.0.20.28. And these will match with the, oh, there, it's right here, with the IP addresses that we've assigned to our management interfaces. Oh, that's a zoom in the previous video that we just verified. We're using Junos. Our admin user account is not admin, it is root. And the password is the UN. Now we click create and we let it run. We're going on. We're going. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, my son informing me that I'm having burritos for dinner. What is that? Oh, and I'm going to have to talk about this wheel right now. So I will be right back. Oh my goodness. Well, that was fun and cute. And look what's happened in the meantime. 
we have a number of devices that are connected, but it looks like we have two that are not. So, oh, four. Oh, and I know why, and I have made a mistake here. If you run into an issue like this, likely it's because you don't have an IP address or because your auth isn't set right. Click on the eyeball right over here on the right to show the log. And in this case, it won't, they won't be reachable. And the reason that they're not reachable is because the IP address list that I have includes IP addresses for my firewalls, which are part of a service chain I may or may not explore in this video series, but are certainly not configured by Appstra. They're not even turned on right now. They're not even in this environment. So of course, those IP addresses aren't going to work. Even though I've accounted for them here, they obviously are not here. All I need to do in this case is just check the boxes right here and then click the trash can at the top and we'll delete them. No problem. Close, wait for this to refresh. There we go. So we're looking for this full control before we move on to the next step. That next step is managing the devices. You can see this column here says acknowledged with a big red X. What we're going to do now is we're going to acknowledge these devices and that is going to create what is called the pristine configuration. That pristine configuration is the configuration for this device to be managed by Appstra. It's important to note that this configuration, this part of the configuration, will not change throughout the life cycle of this device being managed by Appstra. This is all the agent bits that get put onto the device so that it can communicate with the server, the default configuration that we have it is essentially pristine. Good naming, huh? Let's go ahead and acknowledge these. And that will wrap up the video. Quick one, huh? Next one's going to be a big one. This is where we're going to start building our blueprints, setting up resource pools, putting together interface maps and templates, and basically designing our first fabric. Hope to see you there. Hope to get to it soon, too. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.